DeKalb County might be struggling in baseball over the past two decades, but you can bet it's not because of the lack of speed, especially at Southwest DeKalb. As our Charles Ward reports, the Panthers are hoping to finish first in track and field for the fifth in the 90s while grabbing national attention. Unless you've been lagging behind the pack for the past few years, you know that it's Southwest DeKalb High School who have dominated state quad A field competition. But in case it's been hard for you to catch up, check out these numbers. Over the past six years, the Panthers have won an incredible four state championships. And while most of the credit should go to Panther coaches Napoleon Cobb and Vernon Elder, when you talk to Coach Cobb, give you another reason for the success of the Panthers. From anything that's unique to Southwest DeKalb, it may be the our threshold for our kids for work. It's plain hard work. We are extremely pleased with their attitude and their work ethics. As a defending track and field champions, the Panthers obviously hope to continue their winning ways in state competition. But this year, the Panthers will have a chance to take their success to another level. Last year was a time that a national high school track and field champion was crowned. And for much of the 95 season, the Panthers were ranked number one in the nation until spring football practice claimed a few of the participants. But this year, the veteran cast of Panthers won't be left shorthanded. And if they can do just one thing, they should make a run for the national. Southwest DeKalb is always national. Southwest DeKalb is always what our kids do. If they do what their goal is, what they set out to do, then we, we always, we'll be all right. We let it go. We don't really key in on other people. Now, when you're thinking about winning national and state track and field titles, you need some extraordinary talent to make it happen. And for the Panthers, there's plenty of talent to make the rounds. Let's start with the 800 and 1600 meter relay. In the recent Georgia Indoor Invitational, both teams outran the competition to finish first in each event. In addition to the relay teams, the double hopes of a state and national championship for the Panthers also rest upon the triple hops of triple jumper Angelo Taylor. At the Georgia Invitational, Angelo won the triple jump by posting his personal best with a jump of 48 feet 5 inches. And as a defending state champion in the triple jump, thinking about what it will take to win a national title in that event. Yeah, um, I feel I can go that about 49 feet, 50 feet. That's my goal for the year. In the 60-meter hurdles, the Panthers have already put themselves in national competition. Junior Terrence Trammell made that possible by turning in the time of 7.78 seconds at the Georgia Invitational, which was the fourth fastest indoor time ever posted in that event. Not bad for the first time out of the blocks. I felt well about the 60-meter uh, high hurdles. Uh, it was my first time ever running the 60-meter high indoor, and I uh, felt pretty good with the results. Um, I was able to stay relaxed. The race is very short, so it's over before you know it. And uh, I'm just glad to be able to, that I was able to participate and come out on. Now, in case you think it's only the boys of Southwest DeKalb High School who are dominating in track and field, next week we'll introduce you to Lady Panther Terry Robinson, whose prowess on the track is gaining her a lot of notoriety. From Southwest DeKalb High School, it's Charles Ward for Prep Sports Plus. Jim, back to you. All right, Charles, thanks. You can see the Southwest DeKalb Panthers Monday, April 8th at Carrollton High School when they compete in a special boys four-team meet. The state, the ones who can run, the ones who can jump. Measure up to the competition. They must be good passers who can pole vault their way to the top All-American. What follows is plenty of recognition and maybe even a big hit one day. We'll survey the situation next.